World Health Organization estimates that 240 million people worldwide are exposed to unsafe levels of toxic lead in their drinking water. Studies suggest that lead exposure from contaminated water contributes to it overall a million deaths annually. And testing for lead can be expensive. But now, as Maureen Halliday reports, new technology will make it easier and less expensive to test the water that you and your family are drinking. The trouble with the water in Flint, Michigan, just... Flint made headlines when lead levels in children doubled, but they're not the only ones. Information now pouring in about water sources at CMS schools. High lead levels have been found in tap water in Detroit, Chicago, Baltimore, Milwaukee, Newark, New York, Pittsburgh, and Washington, D.C. A National Resources Defense Council analysis found 56% of the U.S. population is drinking from water systems with detectable levels of lead. Once they get into human, they sort of accumulate over time. Current EPA regulations require drinking water to contain no more than 15 parts per billion of lead. The right amount is, is literally zero. But current testing is costly, uses large equipment, and takes days to get some results. Now a new team at MIT has developed a new system using a simple chip-based detector that uses light to detect lead. Rather than using uh, electrons or electricity to transmit information, we use light. By using photonic chips in less than five minutes, the new system can detect levels as low as one part per billion. The system is portable, inexpensive, and highly accurate. And they plan to take it from this lab to your home within two years, hoping to save lives around the world. That's why we are doing it. That's why we're doing it. I'm Maureen Halliday reporting. The MIT technology can not only detect lead, but can also be adapted to detect cadmium, copper, lithium, barium, cesium, and radium.